Hey guys, what's up? My name's Hope. I go by Rax Ridges Resale. You can't see it because my camera's too low. Here on, <laughs> here on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe for all things resale related. I'm right in the middle of having a horrible hot flash. So pardon my my tank top. Um, all my menopausal women and uh, people without ovaries and uteruses and all the things like me. Breast cancer warriors, you know exactly how I feel right now. And it's miserable. But the show must go on. So I'm here to show you this haul. I'm happy to report that everything power power everything for the most part is listed. I've been working really hard on listing. That's where I've been listing. I feel like I should do some honorable mentions really quick before I jump into the haul because like I said, I listed everything, but then guess what? Things sold and I want you to know what sold fast because I'm trying to be helpful, even though it might not seem like it <laughs> since I'm not here very often. Um, hold on, let me get my notes. Okay, I will tell you. I sold this Savannah Jane, it's a boutique brand. I feel like this is a bolo boutique brand though because this flew out of my closet uh savannah jane aztec cardigan it's a cardigan we're heading into summer i feel like indiana's already there it's been 80 degrees for like four days in a row but it's fickle here so we'll see savannah jane aztec cardigan size large i listed it for 50 i sold it for 40 super fast like i said like Everything sold in the last couple weeks. Uh, yeah. These Torrid Star overalls, these were, at least have like a few stains. I listed them for, uh, they were a size 22. I listed them for $18 and they sold in a bundle. And I love her. Thank you. Uh, she was a, she's a subscriber, so. Hi! Um, then I have these new tag Gap. Gap. For the people in the back, Gap. High rise denim trousers. They were new at tag. Found them at the bins. They're part of this bins haul. Unfortunately, you just don't get to see them in all their glory. They were a size four. They sold, I listed them for 32. They sold full price in days. Gap, high rise, wide leg trousers. I'll probably feature that as one of my daily bolos on Instagram. I I started doing daily bolos where I build out a listing and sh like give you all my keywords, all the listing and description details, the exact name, style of the item. Uh, so I can be more active on Instagram because I'm really bad about it. I'm terrible at all social media. In my mind, it doesn't exist. I feel like, is that the thing with everyone who has ADHD or just me? <laughs> just me? Is it just me? I don't know. I feel like my ADHD makes me not be able to do social media well, if that makes sense. Because my mind flies in 42 freaking directions all the time. And I'm like, oh my god, that's such a good idea for a reel. Oh my god, that's such a good idea. Oh my god, I should do this. I should film this. I want to do this. Eh. And then I like have all these thousands of things circling my brain. And guess what happens? Absolutely nothing. I get nothing done. Nothing. I get my listings done and my shipping, but as far as social media, pfft, nothing. So anyways, I might include those because those Gap High Rise Trouser Jeans, they sold so fast and for $32, that's really good for Gap and yeah, I mean, I, I got them at the bins. They were a dollar. Uh, then the C, the way I see crew neck, it was a 2X. This sold for $40. This was from that Ben's haul. I, this was in a ship with me video. So you've seen this probably before, but this is all of these things I'm saying are all from that haul. Uh, this, the vintage Lauren Rathorn maxi denim 
jean skirt. It was stained. It still sold for $29. And then there was this unbranded... There was no brand. Someone like commented on my Poshmark listing and were like, this is from Shein. And I was like, well... The stock photo I found said Luminous Dawn Floral Maxi. So I feel like, it, I mean, it's probably, could be on Shein. Also could be a dropship item. I have no idea, but it was beautiful. It was an extra large, it was white, and it was a lace maxi dress, like perfect for a beach wedding. Just like perfect. It, it was a beautiful dress, whether it was from wherever, but it had no tags. And so I found it by stock, like by Google image, and I listed it for, I think $34, and it sold for $34. Someone bought it outright. And it was unbranded. So, sometimes style sells it. Okay, I believe that's it. Gosh, I hate saying that because I feel like there's more, but I also know that this haul, we're, we got three big bags to go through, and yeah. Grab a snack, grab a drink, we're about to pop into it right now. Dang it, already made over $200 with just those things. And then I made another $600 from designer luxury items that I found, men's suits that I sold on eBay. So I'm already like $800 from this Bensol. It's a beautiful thing. I'm so thankful. All right, let's crack into her. We're definitely, I might, I don't know how many bags. Well, Let's do this first because this is fun. Look, this is a Hello Kitty pillow. It's a giant pillow. This is not listed. I Here I sit here and gave you this whole speech. Like, everything's listed. I didn't listed this pillow yet, but I'm going to. It's a pillow, and it has a pocket. And it was supposed to have a... It's new with tag. And it was supposed to have a blank... Like, a little blankie in here. And, like, these little things snap in. The blankie, it's like a pillow and blank, blanket combo. But guess what? There was no blanket... There, but I grabbed the pillow because oh, I just ripped down my curtains. I grabbed the pillow because I thought I—I I mean, some people stan Hello Kitty, so we got it. Some of these items I pick up, although I am a very full circle type, I'll sell anything. Like I don't care as long as it's like cute. I think, like to me. Uh, I will list anything. I'm just one of those who just like, well, <laughs> you throw it up and you see what sticks. That's just kind of my motto, how it's always been for me. Uh, but a, some of the stuff I did get with what not in mind. So, you know, if you don't see it listed, there's that's probably the reason is because I do live shows. This is Old Navy. It's just a maxi dress, but uh, it's a medium. It's a like a boho ditzy floral. I'm gonna put this on whatnot for sure. This is Rachel Rachel Roy size medium. This is like a chambray tunic high low dress. I got a little slit in the back. Yeah, that's a super cute. That's medium as well, and that is listed. Oh my gosh, you guys, I almost died when I found these shoes. In fact, one of the, um, I really miss going to the bins. It's been a minute. Um, one of the t-shirt bros was like, are you gonna, if you don't want those Xana D jeans, I'll take them. And I was like, I want them. I literally bleached these, washed these like seven times because they had, spots everywhere but I got them out look at these Xanadi button fly patch I mean if these don't take you back I'm 30 gonna be 38 next week these take me back to middle school high school I mean these are all the rage these are white fringe patch I got an offer like within seconds of listing these for 40 and I countered and they never came back and now they've just been sitting but I like I should put these on Depop right I feel like someone's gonna buy them they're a size 9 10 but that's not true 
because they're 100% cotton and they probably run like a three. These are made well. I was so excited about these. These are listed. Everything's listed. I don't know why I keep saying that. The Perfect Vintage Wide Leg Crop Jeans. These are a 33 petite, which just means the crop is a little shorter, but they're in excellent condition. A little crop white jean, perfect for summer. I have no doubt that those will, like wide leg crop. I mean, those will definitely sell. And it's been weeks. I mean, I've been listing this stuff since I got it. So, and photographing and listing. So I don't remember what I listed it for, but my Poshmark closet is linked in the description. And you might have to scroll or search for the items because I also, in the meantime, have relisted like eight, seven hundred and something items. I've been like hard at work, you guys. I'm trying to be a full-time reseller here. So I've like relisted my entire closet. So these items might be buried, but they're there, I promise. You might have to search. This is an Old Navy Extra Large. This is not there because this, I was thinking about what not for this. It's a leopard little maxi dress with slits. So it's I think what's the cami or something I do those dresses do good I sell so much old navy it's wild <laughs> it's wild <laughs> okay so J brand these are fun these are J brand size 28 the bell bottom yeah these are called the bell 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 bottom they're hemmed so I had to just like I think someone professional professional did it but I just took the measurement of the inseam. But yeah, J brand, the bell bottom. That's a good style. I like just cleaned my office and now it's gonna be a mess. Okay, this is Columbia, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Columbia, size small. I thought this was so cute, like a little pink. And it cinches, it's a crop and it cinches. And then it has like a little pocket. Oh my gosh, those lights. Oh, I know what's doing it. Oh, let me turn off that overhead light. Yikes, my whole video might be ruined because I didn't turn off that overhead light. Is that better? And it has that little pocket. I don't know, it's still blowing it out. Anyways. I just thought it was cute. It has kangaroo pockets. This is Champion Reverse Weave little hoodie. It's size small. It is listed. I think I listed it for like $25. The reverse weave used to do so much better and then it faded just like everything in fashion. <laughs> so, um, sorry, this is a nightmare. I'm a little rusty. This is Ann Taylor, black label like Ann Taylor. This is like a cream shell. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Well, look at these sleeves. They're a poof sleeve, window pane plaid, but like, it, that's like lilac, orange, and green. And then a cream. This is so like preppy core. Very preppy. Tennis prep. Preppy. Look at this. Lululemon, size eight. Look at that rip tag, so fresh. This is like brand new. A black tennis skirt or, you know, athletic skirt. It's a size eight. I'm so pumped about it. It's called something, it's listed. It's size eight, literally like new, has pockets. Lululemon, that was also, like, I found all that Lululemon men's that day. Well, just two pieces, but, you know, Hermes, Lululemon men's joggers, Lululemon jacket, Viore short pants. That, I'll link that haul up here. Um, yeah, I don't know. My videos are not performing the best, <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. Um... It's kind of discouraging because like they used to do, I used to do so much better, but at the same time, I mean, things change. People get sick of people. I'm still here. It is what it is. 
These are Athleta 1X. Um, they're Athleta little shorts. Aren't these adorable? They have mesh. And they're a 1X Athleta from the bins. Fantastic. Yeah, like it's kind of discouraging because like I look at my old video, like my old bins hauls and like they did would do so well with less subscribers. And then, yeah, my new, like every video I've put out lately, it's just kind of like tanking and I don't know what I can do different. I'm just a woman who's on a breast cancer journey trying to be a reseller to make money for my family. So I don't really know what's going on, but I'll keep at it. If I decide to quit YouTube, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> Maybe I'll just change my channel to a guinea pig channel. What would you think about that? Look at this. This is Marisa's. I didn't care because that is a crochet, beautiful little crop. That's a medium, beautiful condition. I got this skirt because it's new with tag and it was 100% linen. I don't know if it's Harvey Bernard. I wouldn't normally grab this, but the linen, and I kind of do love this green. It's a midi length skirt, linen. It's got pockets in the back. You know, midi length, 100% linen, new with tag. Why not? It's the bins. Wouldn't be a Hope Haul without this J. Crew piece. This is a J, J. Crew Swiss dot. It's like a Swiss dot lace blouse, size four. Oh, shoes. This is my one pair of shoes because I can never find shoes there. These are just Crown Vintage suede. Um, oh my God, is there no size? Well, you're doing great, Hope. You are doing great. No wonder why people don't watch your videos. Okay, these are called the Valia, and they're a five. That's tiny, but that's okay. People, some people have tiny feet and need tiny shoes. They're like brand new. So, I grabbed them. This is Catherine Malandrino. It's a tweed, like little zip up textured blazer jacket. Oh, I don't remember the size. I'm not gonna dig for it, sorry. <laughs> Unsubscribe. No, I'm kidding. Okay, you have to laugh, right? Okay. This is J. Jill, size large. I didn't even care that half the stuff was like kind of wintry. I still listed it. This is J. Jill. It's like a rust orange, love it. It's an open knit, three button, long line cardigan. Yeah, it's fabulous and size large. People love their J. Jill. And this is Little Baby Gap. I even listed this because I'm a listing queen right now. <laughs> Who am I? Um, 2T Baby Gap. It has pockets. Isn't this so cute? Ugh. Loft, size large. It's a blue like little shell tank and then look at the back though. It's like a plane in the front like oh hi coastal grandma and then boom she's here to party. It has a ruffle on both sides all the way down and split open in the back and then has this really pretty pastel floral. It's a large. This is what? What's our new? Oh Lauren Ralph Lauren is a size 8. This is a um a uh, floral lace, like off the shoulder sheath dress. It's navy, look at that lace detail. Size eight, Lauren Ralph Lauren. Yes. Oh, I don't think I've listed this. Maybe I have. I can't remember. It's all running together. This is soft surroundings. It's like a, yes I have. Yes I have listed this. It's like an acid wash little shirt jacket. Size petite medium. Mm, not the best size for soft surroundings, but what do you do? Okay, then I found these Ivy Park leggings. These make your booty look fantastic. These are a small 
night so much athleisure that day I just remember being it being wild these are a Nike dry fit size medium like a neon yellow they got a butt pocket in the back or a zipper pocket I don't think I've listed those yet these are Trekkie pants I believe is the style these are Athleta size 4 yeah these are I'm pretty sure these are the Trekkie pant I haven't listed these because I needed I was gonna do pill but at the same time I'm like no I'll just list them as like light pilling there is you know like some light pilling in there but yeah these are uh, really similar to the dance studio pant by lululemon the Trekkie T-R-E-K-K-I that style does pretty good I mean not the best but hmm. probably like 30 bucks airy size small this is a this is likely a whatnot piece little floral slip dress like very y2k these what are these it's been so long i literally don't even remember oh these are just fabletics a full full length but they have this these pockets, these mesh pockets down the sides. Ooh. They're super cute and like brand new. They still have the rip tag, which is always a win. Size small. This is new tag. It's a pineapple. Josephina in the sun. Made in the USA, size medium. It's a shiny metallic <laughs> pineapple rash guard. Made in USA. I looked up this brand and I, like these were these retail for over a hundred dollars so and that's brand new I grabbed this swimsuit because it was plus size and then I realized when I got it home oh wait there's no brand so I gotta look up this RN number but this is a 22 plus size 22 a little full coverage one piece with the skirt over it I gotta just figure out what brand this is I've already photographed it. Everything is photographed. Everything. Uh, as soon as I got it all photographed, I brought it up to my office and was like, film the haul, Hope. Just film the haul. And every day I'm like, what I get? This is, this is Crown and Ivy. This is a uh, lemon drop something. Lemon drop pinstripe. Oh my gosh, you guys. I hope you can truly see how fabulous this is. Those lights are gonna blow it out. Do you hear the cat scratching on the door? Okay, so this is blue and white pinstripe with lemons. Do you see the lemons? Oh, it is so cute. The lemons are all over. They match my nails. And this is size 16. All right, one bag down. I'm gonna let Dipper in, and then we'll get to the next bag. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, Jenny. Oh, I just love you. You want to say hi to everybody? Oh, I want to say hi to everybody. Oh, you want to show my bigger daughter? Look how big he is. He's not a baby teddy anymore. He's a big teddy. He's a big teddy. I just love him. You want me a baby teddy? He's like, who are you with that red lipstick on? He doesn't know my name. He doesn't know my name. I love you. Oh, you're so handsome. Gosh, I love that cat. Okay. Next bag has lots of accessories. Look at this. Happily Ever After. This is Mud Pie. The tag is off, but then when I looked it up, the RN said Mud Pie. So, some beach, somewhere. This is perfect for honeymoon. Someone who's engaged. A great bridal gift. It's basically like brand new. I have like a hat form in here right now. Well, I did. I just took it out. Um, yeah. Love that hat. Then this is the sack. Look at this little basket weave. I don't know. This is very Y2K. A little mini. A little mini shoulder bag. Really cute. It's the sack. Eh. It's in really good shape, except for like, I feel like the strap is slightly discolored. I might lay this in an oxy bath. 
That's not listed. The hat is. This is a brawl. Size 3X large. It's a 3X sports brawl or, you know, comfort brawl. I don't know the brand because it rubbed off. <laughs> so that one's not listed. But this one is. This one is Torrid 42D. I found so many good brawls that day. 42D. It's a baby pink, like a light pink Torrid brawl. Look at this Torrid brawl. Oh, this one's so cute. This lace underwire. This one is a Torrid Curve size one. That was like the one of the best Ben's days I've ever had in my whole life. And then I haven't been back since. Imagine what I'm missing out on. Hmm. Okay, this is a this is pink Victoria's Secret. It's a little lace strappy 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 bralette. Uh, this is listed and it is a size small. Well, these are some of my favorite things. They're sweaters, but who cares? This is John and Jen. This is a Revolve brand, Nordstrom, Macy's, all the places. Size medium, mystic blue, J plus L, John plus Jen. Wait, John and Jen. Yeah, it's J plus J, but they're backwards. My bad. Look at it. It's a leopard print. A little cropped. Not uh, not cropped, but like boxy. Drop shoulder. Sweater. New with tag. I know. Oh my gosh. I got so excited for these two. Look at this. These are just Madden NYC. This is extra large. But look at it. It's like a ski sweater. And I just thought someone. Someone is going to love it. And look. This one is like the opposite of skiing. It's like s desert sunset. <laughs> also, Madden NYC, and this is uh, a large. So a large and an extra large. Madden NYC is just like a diffusion off of Steve Madden. No like big money or anything. Look at this cacique bra. It even has cacique written, cacique written on the strap, on the bows and on these straps. This is like high quality. I think this is called like the lightly lined full coverage and this is like an f a um 38 f indeed it is this is a nike sports bra extra small little tiny i'm pretty sure it's listed up this is the whole bag just went down this is travel on it was brand new with tag safe id rfid blocking it's got a tan interior. We'll travel on nylon wristlet. I'm so sorry, Dip. The whole bag fell, Mom, and it crashed on me. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Baby Teddy. Okay. I'm back. This is a coach. Found this coach bifold wallet in the bins. We got that. Things in this bag are not listed yet. So let's skip those for now. This is New Tag Loft, size 4. I love this skirt. Looks like a wool tweed, classic plaid. Red, black, white, and gold. Just like 100% clueless, size 4. The final sale price on it was $50. So it was priced higher than that originally. And these are INC, these are like the Spanx, but INC. These are INC size 6, the faux leather jeggings. Remember, buddy needs a good pair of faux leather jeggings in their life. I'm sad because all the stuff was folded. <laughs> now it's not. Uh, this is Rolling Stones, small medium. I don't know if this is men or women. This is, if this is a small medium, it's super oversized. This is like giant. Um, so this might be a small medium men's or just meant to be super oversized, but like look how fun Yep Very fun black with that big graphic and Then I found this The shacket. This is another one of those things. It doesn't really have a real brand. 
It's called Camisa, size medium, but it was new with tag, and it was a plaid jacket, and it was super soft, so I got it. Isn't this cute? Like this plaid jacket over that Rolling Stones tee? I think so. It has like the same kind of colors, that pink. Okay. Dipper is like, what is going on in this room? This little bag of tricks. I haven't listed these things yet, I don't think. Some, they're probably like more like whatnot giveaways or whatever. This is $20 chiffon wrap. Just the blue chiffon like beach wrap. That's not listed, but it's new with tag. This is it size 18 I'm pretty sure is this I think this is torrid this is size 18 a little braided belt I'm pretty sure it's torrid but I'm not 100% look at the buckle isn't that so cute I haven't listed it because I haven't looked it up yet this is Zep Pro a division of Zeppelin products. Genuine full grain leather, croc black 38. Look, there's freaking crocodiles. This is a man's belt. See those crocodiles on there? This has to be worth something. This is where I lose my stamina. <laughs> it's like <laughs> looking at belts and ties and things. Like these are like easy things to list and this is I'm like, ah, I'm bored. <laughs> And these things sit on the back burner. This is new with Tag Old Navy. Retails for $17. It's just a little army camouflage scarf. Not neck scarf. Cute. It's new with Tag. Then there were a ton of face masks. Brand new in a box. And I left the box in the bins and I took the face masks with me. These are great for giveaways. On whatnot. I know you guys are probably like, what? Are you talking about giveaways? Okay, there's one more bag. I'll be right back. Okay, big thumbs up if you're still here. I appreciate it. Last bag. We're going to power through. This bag is not listed. There's a few things that need washed. And they were like heavily semi-winter. But this is Lil Lildly. Lildy. Printed fleece sweatshirt. Large, extra large. Pretty sure this is going in my wardrobe. Does this look like something I would wear? Yep. <laughs> this is Zara Girls. Oh, I thought that was a bug. Thank God it's not. Zara Girls size 7. It's a fur coat. Isn't this so adorable? It's not listed. I just... I'm gonna list it. I just want to wash it. This is so adorable. I'm gonna wash it and then try it on. It's Gypsies and... Wonderlust, but I'm going to on vacation and I thought this would be cute wouldn't it I don't think it's gonna fit no I can already tell but it's like a jumpsuit linen it has a little bit of makeup around the like right here area so I want to wash it first then I'm so sad because I love this sweatshirt this is easel size large I wanted to keep this too, but I'm pretty sure that's a grease stain right there. You see it right underneath the lightning bolt? So I'm going to try to treat that with Dawn, and we'll see. If I can get it out, I'll probably sell it, and if I can't, then I won't. Look at this. This is Wrangler. I don't know how old this is, or if it's a newer style. Wrangler Extra Large. But it's a like a chore coat, like a shacket chore coat men's. It's got Sherpa lined. Sherpa lined denim cotton chore coat. Shacket. How whatever you want to call it. This, I gotta wash this, but I heard the brand Scala, I believe. Lori, you guys know, Tata. She has talked about this brand before. And it has some like ring around the dirt around up there. But apart from that, I feel like I might want to wear this on vacation sometime. Because <laughs> I love this hat, the little bucket hat. I'm going to try to get that out. If 
if I can get it out, I'll list it. If I can't, I'm keeping it. Redhead brand. This is a thir uh, flannel, medium. This is men's. Guys, okay, so I'm putting my men's things on eBay. That's my new business model. I mean, some of them are going on Posh, but I've been doing a lot of auctions and stuff on eBay. And it's been working out. I sold that Hermes scarf for $150. I sold that Asaya coat for $150 or $140. The black blazer. I sold a, one of the ties for $40, one of the ties for $25. It's going. Uh, the joggers for 80 yeah, yeah, I've made quite a bit. Okay, John Blair, fine menswear. This is so old. I instantly went to that 70s show with this, but it's like pristine. This is like a snap down, no, zipper. It's a zip down. I'm talking, this is retro. Has buttons at the pockets, very like western collared, yeah. Grandpa core right there. Like that 70s show vibe. Okay, this is just a boutique brand, Violet and Claire, but it's extra large. This is a good whatnot piece. This one's not listed. But if you guys are interested in anything that I'm not listing, you can either catch a, me on a whatnot show, just go bookmark, I'll leave my link down below, or just leave me a comment. This is a boutique brand, Alia, size small. I got it because of that heavy boho embroidery, the gauzy, the tassels of the neck. It's a cute top. This is Shein, I know. What a mess. <laughs> but I was thinking about this is a Shein Curve 1XL. This is this will be like a perfect beach cover up for someone or whatever they want it to be. And it was so light. I'm gonna just put that on and whatnot. Five bucks, boom. This is brand new, old navy, new with tags, size small, it's a cardigan. It's like a hunter deep, deep hunter green, long line. Long line cardigan, is there pockets? Yes, deep pockets. This is a beautiful Christmas cardigan, size small, brand new with tags. I'll never say no. <laughs> Even in the dead of summer. This is a little pajama set. I will probably keep this. It's stars above, which is what? Target? Walmart? Target? Stars above. Look at those little shorts. I'm going to wear this to bed. And the top. I love a good summer pajama set. This is F2F, which is fit to fashion. Size 2. I can't remember what. I've sold this brand one other time before. Is this Gabrielle Union's brand? But these are like those booty popping leggings. These are in a green. F2F. Fit to fashion or something like that is what it stands for. Fun to fat. Fit to fashion. Fun to fashion. I can't remember. I know I've sold it before. And I know it's like it was founded by a, by a person. Obviously. Uh, Under Armour Extra Large. It's a men's Under Armour tank. That is not listed. Like I said, no, these items are not listed. I either A, needed to wash, or B, needed to do more research, and I was busy listing all the other part of the hauls. I prioritized. <laughs> this is Urban Outfitters Large. This is a newer tag. I don't know. Is this? Do you think this is a men's or a women's? I'm not sure. Unisex? It's a long sleeve. This, I never heard of this, but comps on this look really good. This is a 5X. I'm so excited. It's called Cotton Traders. Yeah. And it's really heavily, heavily, heavily embroidered with like, or branded, I should say. Like, there's the CT embroidered on the sleeve. Over here, there's a rose embroidered, and then it says Cotton Traders right there. And then, like, that's, the, like, the tag inside. And, like, the neckline has embroidery all across. It's a 5XL. It's, like, superb, superb quality. That is one of the pieces I need to list. It's just heavy, so I don't didn't think it would sell right now. But I know, like, the comps were good. Like, 40 bucks. This is Weekend. 
size large. It's a little graphic tee. I feel like I got this for my kid. And then he was like, no, here we are. This is <laughs> this is definitely a little whatnot piece right here. This say la vie little crop. Or it's a take two Play-Doh's closet. You know, you get two dollars for it. Oh, I have yeah, I forgot. Cabernet sleepwear. Size small. I forgot about this little nightgown. This is like a purple satin nightgown. Button all the way down with a pocket by Cabernet. Cabaret. I don't know. This feels super nice. I gotta look more into that. This is, I believe, Torrid. I, I don't not know. I think it's Torrid. Let me sleep. Is that what it says? It's a plus size nightgown. I think it's like a 3X. It's a 5X. And it must be Sheen. I thought it was Torrid. It, but it's a 5X that says let me sleep in. How cute is that? Oh, this is one of my favorite pieces. I can't wait. This is Smirnoff size medium. I don't know. This is made in the USA. I don't know if this is vintage Smirnoff or not, but that's a reindeer and look at the back. Smirnoff. Cheers. It says mule tied greetings on the front. Mule, it's a mule. No, what? what a mule. <laughs> mule tied. This is a mule. It's a medium. I don't know if it's men's or women's, but it's a ugly Christmas novelty sweater, so we're excited about it. These are Pearl Izumi. I have like a stack of Pearl Izumi that I just keep stacking up and never listing. It's because these darn butt pads throw off my photograph game. But that's the symbol. Pearl Izumi looks like that. I don't know. These are like Capri length. Um, those might do better than just like the normal bike shorts. I'm not 100% sure, but you know, it's a solid 20 bucks usually for Pearl Izumi. It's a cycling brand. These are an extra large. Okay, we're to the bottom. Thank goodness I'm exhausted. This is just a uh, Under Armour. It's women's zip up. That's like a either whatnot or Plato's Closet or somewhere. I have no desire to list that. <laughs> and then same thing here. Size small Under Armour women's. A quarter zip. Little activewear blue. Yeah. I mean, those will be taken by donation from any place, like any of the shops. They love that kind of stuff. Oh, this says Under Under Armour Storm on this hoodie. So, mm, I don't know. I'll look into them. I'll see. If I run out of things to list because I haven't been thrifting, then I'll list them. But, yeah. So, that's it. Uh, it's $1.39 a pound at my bins. Then I get 10% off because I always go over uh, $25. <laughs> And yeah, this is the basically the rest of the stuff I got on the day where I got all that men's designer stuff. So that was a special day. I went with my kids. It was a great day. And I haven't been back since because I haven't been feeling good. But we'll get there eventually. It's a it's a a battle. A slow and steady. Yeah, it's the climb. That's what it is. It's definitely the climb. And every day is different. And I'm working as hard as I can to do better, feel better. But it's hard. And that's about it. Um, I'm trying to, like, stay encouraged to continue to do YouTube. But I'm so, like, deep into um, just, like, listing and photographing and, like, work mode that... I just have kind of put YouTube to the back burner. Anyways, that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. Like I said, most everything is listed. If it's not, it's probably because it's going to go on whatnot. Or it's because it's winter and needs to be washed. And I haven't got there yet. But 
my Poshmark closet is linked down below. I appreciate all your guys' support so much, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!